Anna Moniani, a prominent figure in the world of cinema, left an indelible mark on the film industry through impactful performances. When reflecting on her body of work, one might ask, which piece do you hold closest to your heart? Or ponder, out of the many legendary works she has done, which one do you believe defined her career? As we explore the fascinating facets of Moniani's career, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Hey stories add depth to the legacy of this iconic performer. Stay tuned as we unravel intriguing, shocking, and amusing facts about her journey. Keep watching for more and share your thoughts with us. An influential figure in the realm of cinema, Anna Moniani left an indelible mark on the film industry through compelling performances and authentic portrayals. Born in Rome, Italy, she emerged as a distinguished actress during the mid-20th century, captivating audiences with raw talent and a magnetic presence. Her significance lies in the ability to transcend conventional boundaries, delving into the intricacies of human emotion with unparalleled authenticity. Moniani wasn't merely an actress, she was a force that brought characters to life, leaving an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape. Celebrated for exceptional range, she seamlessly navigated between intense drama and lighthearted comedy. Nuanced performances in films like Rome, Open City, and The Rose Tattoo showcased a profound understanding of the human condition. Captivating screen presence and genuine expressions resonated with audiences worldwide, earning acclaim and accolades. Beyond on-screen prowess, Maniani was a trailblazer, challenging societal norms and redefining the role of women in cinema. Contributions paved the way for future generations, leaving an indomitable legacy shaping the art of acting. In a time when the film industry was evolving, her ability to breathe life into characters and captivate audiences made her a true icon. Impact goes beyond the temporal confines of her era as influence continues in the annals of cinematic history. In celebrating Anna Moniani, we acknowledge not just a talented actress, but a visionary who shaped the course of film with unparalleled authenticity and timeless performances. Her enduring legacy is a testament to the power of genuine, emotive storytelling that transcends the boundaries of time and culture. Anna Moniani, an Academy Award-winning actress, faced personal challenges as a mother. Her son, Luca, a result of an affair, suffered from infantile polio. He was sent to a Swiss clinic for treatment and, despite walking with braces, spent most of his life in a wheelchair. Maniani's devotion earned her Italy's Golden Violet Award for Exemplary Motherhood. In her acting career, she achieved recognition by winning the Best Actress Oscar for the Rose Tattoo at the 28th Annual Academy Awards in 1956. She was the 44th actress to receive this prestigious honor. Playwright Tennessee Williams, upon meeting her, praised Maniani's beauty, describing her as having enormous eyes and skin the color of Devonshire cream. These facets of her life as a devoted mother and an acclaimed actress reflect the complexities and challenges she navigated throughout her personal and professional journey. Awarded the Hollywood Walk of Fame star in 1960, Anna Moniani left an indelible mark on the film industry. The accomplished actress, known for gripping performances, faced an unexpected twist during the 28th Annual Academy Awards in 1956. Despite her conviction that she would not win for the Rose Tattoo, she was awakened in Rome by a persistent reporter with the surprising news of her victory. Initially disbelieving, Moniani's threat to the reporter added a touch of humor to her Oscar win. Moniani's impact transcended awards. She became an inspiration to fellow actors. Helen Mirren, expressing admiration, named her as an acting idol, while Burt Lancaster held her in high regard as the greatest actress he ever worked with. These testimonials underscore the profound influence she had on her peers. Her Hollywood Boulevard star stands as a testament to her enduring legacy in the film industry, while the incident surrounding her Oscar win adds a human touch to her otherwise formidable career. Her ability to captivate both audiences and colleagues alike solidifies her place in the annals of cinematic history. The grandmother of Italian actress Olivia Moniani, Anna Moniani's familial ties extend beyond her own illustrious career. Notably, she holds a distinct place in the lineage of Italian cinema, contributing to a legacy that spans generations. As one of three Italian actors to secure an Academy Award, she shares this honor with luminaries such as Sofia Loren and Roberto Benigni. 
This achievement underscores her impact on the global stage and solidifies her position in the annals of cinematic history alongside esteemed peers. While her professional accolades are widely celebrated, Moniani's personal life bears its own set of intriguing details. Her marriage to director Goffredo Alessandrini, which spanned from 1933 to 1940, underwent an annulment only in 1950, adding a layer of complexity to her private narrative. In exploring her life, from familial connections to cinematic triumphs, one discovers a figure whose influence transcends the screen. Her impact on Italian cinema, coupled with the enduring legacy she leaves behind, cements her as a pivotal figure in the realm of film. Known for her tumultuous relationship with filmmaker Roberto Rossellini, Anna Moniani's personal life was marked by volatility. Their connection, beginning in 1944, ended abruptly when he deserted her for Ingrid Bergman. Reports of her hurling crockery at him during their turbulent times reveal the intensity of their tempestuous bond. Rossellini, describing the actress, reportedly stated she was born carrying her liver in her teeth. Renowned playwright Tennessee Williams crafted the role of Serafina in his play, The Rose Tattoo, specifically for Moniani. However, her limited English skills prevented her from appearing in the 1951 Broadway production, leading Maureen Stapleton to take on the role with great acclaim. Her friendship with Tennessee Williams became the focal point of an off-Broadway play in New York titled Roman Nights, written by Franco D'Alessandro. The play featured Franca Barchesi as Moniani and Roy Miller as Williams. Currently, there are plans for a film adaptation of this intriguing exploration of their relationship. In the world of cinema, Moniani's life is a narrative of intense relationships, missed opportunities, and creative collaborations, all of which contribute to her enduring legacy. These glimpses into her personal and professional life provide a nuanced understanding of the complexities she navigated. Sent to a convent school at the age of seven, Anna Moniani's early education included learning French. Raised with a musical background, she possessed a deep singing voice and demonstrated proficiency in playing the piano and guitar. One of the 13 Best Actress Oscar winners who did not personally accept the Academy Award, Moniani won for the Rose Tattoo. Joining the ranks of acclaimed actresses like Katherine Hepburn and Sophia Loren, she opted not to attend the ceremony. A well-known hypochondriac, she kept a thermometer close by to frequently monitor her temperature. This quirky habit provided insight into her health-conscious approach. Despite her unconventional traits, Anna Moniani's unique upbringing, musical talents, and idiosyncrasies added layers to her personality, contributing to the fascinating narrative of her life and career. In her final moments, Anna Moniani faced the harsh reality of terminal cancer, finding solace with her son Luca and former paramour director Roberto Rossellini. At the age of 65 in 1973, she breathed her last, and her resting place became the Rossellini family vault. Vittorio De Sica's desire to collaborate led to her casting as Cecira in Two Women. Initially paired with a 25-year-old Sophia Loren as her daughter, Moniani insisted on swapping roles due to the significant age gap. Lauren, playing Cecira, clinched an Academy Award for her performance, marking a pivotal moment in their cinematic journey. Renowned filmmaker Jean Renoir crafted the golden coach around her portrayal of Camilla, an actress from Commedia dell'Art, showcasing Moniani's magnetic presence in the world of cinema. Anna Moniani, a renowned actress, had intriguing facets to her personality. Superstitious and claiming clairvoyance, she also had a penchant for smoking cigars. Notably, she holds a unique distinction among 13 actresses who won the Best Actress Oscar for portraying pregnant characters, earning hers for the Rose Tattoo in 1955. Tennessee Williams crafted the Rose Tattoo with her in mind, offering the lead role, which she initially declined due to language concerns. Maureen Stapleton excelled in the stage version, but Anna later accepted the screen adaptation, securing accolades such as the Oscar, Golden Globe, and New York Film Critics Awards. In her final moments, she faced terminal cancer, finding solace with her son Luca and former paramour director Roberto Rossellini. She passed away at 65 in 1973, resting in the Rossellini family vault. Her collaboration with Vittorio De Sica in Two Women showcased a unique approach. Initially cast as Cecira, she insisted on swapping roles with Sophia Loren, marking a pivotal moment in their cinematic journey. Renowned filmmaker Jean Renoir's The Golden Coach centered around her portrayal of Camilla, highlighting her magnetic presence in cinema. 
in a career full of twists from a tumultuous relationship with Rossellini to quirky habits on Amoniani's life and career remain a fascinating narrative in the annals of cinematic history.